Hi there, I'm Zoe from Stompin' the Blues. Welcome to episode two of Stompin' at Home. Uh, this is a series in which we um, demonstrate our favourite solo moves for you. And my turn today is uh, the Josephine Baker. Now Josephine Baker was a really famous jazz singer, dancer, actress, bit of a general all-round genius uh, from back in the 1920s. Um, if you'd like to learn more about her, I've actually written a um, blog article based on quite a bit of research. I'll put a link in the description. And there's also loads of other resources um, around this move and around that period and her life, which I'll also share with you. But um, let me show you what we're going to do today and then I'll break it down step by step and we'll get cracking. Okay, so how do we break down this lovely kind of slinky movement? Well, we're going to start thinking about our feet. And step one, we're going to just walk through our foot, from our toe to our heel. Just getting a nice bit of awareness through the footbed. To the back. Lovely. Now, a little build to this, as we're stepping, we're going to really settle our weight into our hips. Because while this movement, the shape, sort of looks like your knees are coming up, where the mechanics of this come from are actually from the hip area. So we're just settling as we put that toe into the floor. My weight begins to come on this side. I'm really settling into that hip before I transfer to the other foot. From the back. See my zips, go at different angles there. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, to get that shape, I say it's not really the knees that are coming around, even though that's what it might be what it looks like. We're thinking about getting our hip joint here and we're drawing a little circle upwards, we're sort of scooping upwards. So, drawing, bringing that into the stepping through and settling. So, if we get that toe, start to settle the weight. We bring this hip up with us and draw a little circle before the toe hits the floor. Then the other side starts coming up like this. And that causes our knee to raise off the floor and creates the shape. It's a quick one from the back. So you're just drawing a little circle. If you want to get into the mechanics of kind of the upper body as well, I kind of think about this space here getting smaller, sort of scrunching. So as opposed to sort of not engage my upper body with it, sort of be like that, which I guess you could do from a styling point of view, but it looks kind of nice if we isolate the movement in the bottom of our body for now. Cool. We're going to practice in a minute with some music, but what do we do with our jazz hands? Um, well, a really nice kind of 20s, really authentic Josephine Baker styling is perhaps have them on the hips like this, um, with the hands out, and that can create quite a cool shape. Or we could have them sort of just casually, we can have them loose, kind of a kind of nice asymmetrical shape. Whatever you want really, play around with that. Um, a second way we can sort of play around with it and make it our own is thinking about rhythm. So as you notice, I was doing some slow, scoops here. We can also do quick, quick, slow scoop, quick, quick, slow, quick, 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 <laughs> whatever you feel like, whatever goes with the music. Um, a quick tip before we practice and close, uh, thinking about the knees, as I said before, we're really thinking about the movement coming from the hip, but we can help the styling a bit by we're not kind of thinking about our knees coming out like that, like sort of Dick Van Dyke kind of style. Um, I guess you could do it like that if you wanted. Um, but I think about my knee still facing the front. Um, almost like a, you're kind of a puppet, really. Not sort of doing it 
doing this because it's really our hip joint that's doing the work here. Last little practice, I'll uh, do the same song. It's a good one. So let's step through the foot to get into it. Thinking about then settling. Maybe then bringing that little circle. Thinking about our arm styling. Even the proper 1920s JC Mix style. Then play with some rhythm. Travel around, you can get your shoulders going in different rhythms. You can bend at the hip to create different shapes. And that's the J Swing Baker. Check back next week for our next solo move of the week at Stomping at Home.